It has been a week since the first Theta Tau video was released, and while the letters may be gone from their house, the feelings all other students have remain. One student, Cleo Hamilton, was one of those who felt personally victimized by the actions of the members in Theta Tau, but he is happy with the punishment they all received. He made a final decision and then it cost, it cost him no choice that all 18 members already got expelled, which everybody in my class were talking about it, and then their actions had consequences for that. Clear Hamilton is part of Inclusive U, which is an organization that helps its members with intellectual and developmental disabilities have a fully inclusive college experience here at Syracuse University. And it's one where its members felt targeted. All students were invited to attend another conversation at Hendricks Chapel. Hamilton believes getting the students together at this time is great for the campus. It'd be, it'd be easier, like, um, we could, like, get all the students involved in the gathering, so we could, like, team up together against those guys who were responsible for that, which they will not ever come back here on campus again. At today's conversation, the chancellor and other faculty were in attendance, and he stated that change is needed. This seems obvious when students like Hamilton were hurt, and he said he felt three things after watching the Engineering Frats video, disappointed, embarrassed, and angry. Reporting from Syracuse, for NCC News, I'm Matthew Cooper.